Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the system restore has been disabled by your administrator or perhaps the option is grayed out entirely. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should go back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. You just want to go ahead and select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be kept to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, let's say you made a mistake, you could always select file and then import and navigate to said file location. And you should be able to restore your backup of the registry from there. So again, very straightforward process, guys. So now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing for the software folder. So again, double click on that. Should be a policies folder. Double click on that. Microsoft, double click, and then Windows NT, double click on that. And then finally, there should be a system restore folder. Go ahead and left click on that one time. And if you need to pause the video, you can see the file path is up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And if you're coming across this error, there should be two D word values on the right side here that say disable config, as well as disable SR. You want to go ahead and right click on both of them one at a time and then select delete. I'm going to go select yes and then we're going to do the same for the second item in here. Select yes again and then you should be able to close out of the registry editor, restart your computer and whether your error was that it was grayed out or it just wasn't available. Hopefully at that point once you've restarted your computer and you relaunch the system restore utility, the issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.